guys so today I will be removing my headlights they're not too bad but you can see that they are a little bit hazy now I just painted my wheels recently and I really don't want my headlights you know you can a little bit yellowish so I will be removing them so I can start a sanding process and then I will be clear coating them and they should look way better as to what they look right now but yeah they do look slightly yellow now let me go and remove the headlights I'm gonna try to remove them without removing the bumper but I'll let, I'll let you guys know okay guys so yeah I ended up removing my bumper um, I have kept it from the sides and from the grill so it can come out because the headlight actually comes comes downwards so the bumper won't let it come out so yeah there's no way you can take them out without removing the actual bumper now I removed it already and as you can tell I'm not sure you could tell like on the camera itself, but it does have some haze on it. Like it's not, it's not clear. It looks yellowish. And this is actually the best, I mean, the best out of both. This one, the low one, that looks a little bit better. So you might sort of see it, not too much. But yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not clear as I want it to be. It is a little bit yellowish. You could tell right away, you know, in person. The other one's a little bit more. So what I'll be using, I'll be using a 1000 grit sandpaper. And I will be wet sanding it. Okay, depending how bad yours is, that's how you can start off. I'm only going to be using 1000. I'll see how it stays. Now, I have some leftover Duplicolor clear coat. This is for engine paint, so I really don't think anything's going to happen to it. I guess I'll find out, right? But, I mean, it is heat resistant, so it should be okay. Uh, but we'll find out over the time. But I really don't care because I plan on replacing these with the black ones like I used to have before the car crash. So, uh, let me get started. And by the way, I did mask it just a little bit from the back, slightly, so I won't get any water in the, so. Let me just make sure it's clean. I washed my car recently, a couple of days ago, maybe, wait, what was it? I think it was yesterday. So, I'm just going to clean it before I, before I actually start. Should be looking okay. Let me get this part wet first. Now, I will be doing smoothly, just from one side to one side. I won't be doing, you know, up and down. If you're doing it just one way, just keep it to that. Make sure you get the best results. If it starts getting cloudy, don't start getting scared. No, it's fine as to what I've seen. And, you know, I sound pretty confident, you know, but this is actually the first time I'm doing it. So, like I said, eh. you know, if you know what you're doing, it should be good. Just get grip a little bit better. I 
I know this part it was pretty hazy from this part, so. I'm gonna start recording here pretty quick. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing the exact same thing as you just saw. I'm gonna keep doing it, but I I wanna try to do it, you know, best I can with both hands since I don't have a tripod. So let me just go ahead and keep on sanding it. Should be just a couple of more minutes, but I wanna make sure I concentrate like on all the edges, make sure everything comes out smoothly, and then I'll be back with you guys. And already, um, sanded. I just did it maybe like like maybe like three four more minutes, and once I did finish sanding, you know, with the water there and everything. I went ahead and just put a little bit of water, make sure I cleaned it off a little bit. Now, I have this leaf blower. I mean, if you can, you can just let it air dry. But in this case, I'm going to be using a leaf blower for a faster process. Once it dries, I'll clean it with some alcohol and a rag, which I'll be showing you guys in a bit. And that way, you know, we can make sure we get all the grease, dirt, grime away from it. So let me go ahead and dry it up really quick. And... Um, Right now, I think it's 100 and some still out here in South Texas, so I'll be putting it out there in the sun after I, you know, um, blow with the leaf blower, and then I'll be ready for cleaning and then for paint, okay? So I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so this is how it looks so far, and it does look pretty scary. It does look... I don't know if you can see it too clear, but you can see all the little scratches, you know, from side to side. I'm still not nervous. Looks like it should be okay. Now, it does look pretty even. As you know, I don't see more spots one brighter than the other. So it looks like it should be ready for some clear coating. Now, I did check and I do not have any alcohol. I don't. So, I'll just be cleaning it, you know, pretty good with a, one of these rags, a brand new rag. Um, cleaning up pretty good. And I'll be clear coating it. And we'll see what the results are. And I'm hoping they should be good, but we can't know until we try it. So let me go ahead and give it a go, and then we'll see what, what happens. Doing all the edges first. All the edges. And then I will be doing the center part. So here it goes. I'm not going to mask it from the side like I said I really don't plan on keeping these too long I mean if they look you know way better and I'll be more than happy to keep them a little bit longer but I mean uh, it doesn't really matter at this point I'll just go for it So far, they're looking pretty good. It is getting a little bit hazy, but I know a little trick when it comes to hazy headlights. Usually, get like a what is it like a uh, hot hot air dry. I just go ahead and spray it. Now, give me a second. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll be back. So, guys, um, as it started hazing, what I did, um, I just left it out in the sun for a while. Because that's a little trick I've used before. When um, when I clear coat something and it starts hazing, I'll just use a well, a hair dryer or like a heat gun, and just and the haze will come off. Now what I did since the, since it's super hot outside, I just left the light hanging there, and yeah, by the looks of it, I mean you could you be the judge. And this is the old headlight. Like I said, this one was more bad than the than the first one, but it wasn't. I mean. You know, you can tell right away the difference. I mean, look at this one, and look at that one. And I'll be quite, quite honest with you. I mean, the sanding and the painting took like 15 minutes or less. I mean, I maybe I could have gotten like better results as to, you know, I'm pretty satisfied to what I got. But I could have gotten better results if I took more time on it. 
like I said, since I don't plan on keeping these for too long, I just, you know, I just did it as, you know, pretty quick. But now that I actually like this one, how it came out, I might take a little bit of time on this one. You know, make sure it comes out smoothly. So on this one, I think I might have overdone it with a clear, with a clear coat. I did put um, big, thick coats the first time, which, you know, was pretty risky because I could have had some runs and stuff. But um, it came out pretty decent. So same thing for this one. I'll take my time on it. I'll give it a light coat around the whole ring, you know, all around here. So I get all the bad parts, and then I'll just clear coat the, the middle part. But um, what I'll do, I'll let them air dry. Once I got everything painted, I'll let them air dry on the table out there. And then after that, I will go ahead and, um, you know, wax them. I'll wax both of them after the clear coat dries. And then I'll install them back. And then, you know, uh, we'll, we'll see how they look after. But yeah, so far, so good. So um, I'll keep you guys updated.